Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very interesting news because it does now seem like the big GTA 6 hacker has actually now been officially caught and is now in police custody. We're going to go talk about that. We're going to talk about the dramas coming on going from it. We're talking about how the fact that's actually all put together was kind of a really impressive feat for a 16 and 17 year old, and as well just kind of the issues of what's going on and what actually might end up happening after all these hacks have actually come on out. So, a lot of stuff to go talk about, and this was kind of a big thing, a big news story this past week, especially, besides all the crazy Twitch drama, if you guys have been watching that, that's been all over the place, good lordy lord. So, let's go talk about some good, I guess, uh, maybe good news, maybe, I don't know, maybe bad news, it kind of guess, depends on how you look at it, as well. So, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for all the signups, because there is a drop for that, Twitter and Twitch stream down below, and the Target links too, and let's dive into the video. So, we actually do know, if you guys know, GTA 5 and 6 was both pretty heavily hat. Uh, same thing with Uber 2 as well, and with all this, you know, as you guys know, Rockstar is a pretty big company. So with all the money with them, they actually had had a chance now to work with the FBI to try their best to go and like investigate, see what's going on, see what happens, see what like why these folks were whatever, you know, all that type of stuff. And well, they got them, I think. I think they got them. So we've now been seeing a lot of news articles as of these past few hours stating the FBI investigate hacker allegedly behind the Rockstar GTA 6 leak and with the update to now apparently their 17 year old arrested for alleged Rockstar hack. Now just from my own, I think my own understanding is that I think the person was originally 16, that's where a lot of the rumors started and then they end up obviously turning older as time goes on into 17. So basically as of update as of today, the City of London Police arrested a 17 year old in Ox Oxfordshire on suspicion of hacking. Reporter Matthew Keyes tweeted that the, to say, the crime is related to the high-profile Rockstar hack. More information is expected later today. So as you guys can see this tweet itself uh, from Matthew Keyes. Update. The 17-year-old hacking suspect was arrested in Oxfordshire and is believed to be connected to a group identifying itself as Lapus, uh, a group or Lapus Cash, a group that organizes primarily via Telegram channels. And then also update two as well, and I'll show you guys the official tweet. Update from the city police. They confirm that a 17-year-old was arrested over hacking incident. Source says the crime is related to intrusion on Rockstar Games and possibly Uber Technologies. And that came from this tweet over here from the official like account from the city of police for the city of London police as well. So on the evening of Thursday, the 22nd of September, so as of yesterday night, the City of London Police arrested a 17-year-old in Oxfordshire on suspicion of hacking as part of an investigation supported by the NCA UK's National Cyber Crime Unit. He remains, as of right now, in uh, basically police custody too as well. So we're seeing a lot of these different types of things and even kind of memes on this too as well. And on this, we're having people coming out. Are you able to confirm that this case was indeed related to the Take Two Interactive and Rockstar incident as well? Hacking to as hell. Uh, free him now. He ain't getting out. That's for sure <laughs> too as well. A lot of folks are kind of memeing on this too, but at the same time, people are all over the place too as well. Uh, a lot of people are also saying don't waste his talent. Used to level up cybersecurity, but at the end of the day, I think it just did kind of stem from social engineering of them messaging up Telegram users or using, like, you know, emails or whatever, being like, hey, I'm, like, John, here's, like, a company survey you're supposed to fill out, and, like, what's your name, password, or whatever. Or, like, and then they, I think they use that to leverage into other sides. So they basically were like, hey, uh, I'm John, I'm a new hire, like, give me some information, let me look at the back end, let me do this, let me do this, let me do this, let me do this, and then just from the information they got from Slack and other various things, they had a chance to go and, well, get hat. And it's kind of intriguing, too, because they are 17. A big thing is that uh, I'm not really sure on the UK law or how it's going to work out, but obviously if you're under 18, sometimes you can kind of get away with more stuff, depending on what's going on or what's happening. So we're kind of basically seeing a rock star coming out over here with all the information and uh, basically kind of pursuing this the best they possibly can as well. So the original story was the hacker who claimed responsibility for this weekend's enormous leak of GTA 6 was obviously investigated by the FBI. We did make a video on that when that first came out. 
The same hacker also said they were behind the last week's high-profile hack of the Riot app Uber. So this is kind of a big double whammy. So if you guys remember, we saw that Uber made official statements on the fact that they're working with the FBI to find these folks. And this also happened too as well at the UK, as you guys can see here, where they ended up now getting arrested. So, and it's kind of weird because it really wasn't that much money. As we mentioned before, it's only like $100,000 or so, and some of the leaks were just widespread sent on out as well. And it's not a fun kind of vibe because, bro, at least for me, I mean, maybe you guys can give your thoughts down below. I would not want to go to jail over $100,000. <laughs> now, that is a decent amount of money. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm sure $100,000 could do a lot of good, buy a new car, fix up some houses, even maybe get a house in some areas. But the big issue with this is, it's a very high-profile case. Rockstar and Uber's lawyers are probably getting paid a lot more than $100,000 to make sure that you're going to jail. And while, thankfully, they are only 17 for their end, uh, it could also definitely lead to, well, this could, like, I mean, sometimes you get tried as an adult or you get kind of messed up because this is kind of a high-profile case. So I'll be very curious to see what's going on with this one. But as you guys can see, we're just seeing a lot of different news publications all now confirming, too, as well, that it's all in connection with this hacking group and all these network intrusions and security issues they've had a chance to go and do. As it also mentioned, too, they did also believe in March that the person believed to be behind these major attacks was the A then 16 year old whose home and police visited near Oxford, England, which is in the country of Oxford Shire, too, as well. And as on top of this, too, a lot of folks have been kind of curious on like what are the negative effects of going on with Rockstar's hacks of like why the source code being leaked is so bad for both GTA 5 and 6, too, as well. And um, as you guys can probably go and tell, a lot of these things are all in ties to cheating. I kind of said the same thing when it first came out. One of the biggest concerns right now is whether the cyber criminal behind the attack will publish any more data. The hacker claims to have stolen source code for both GTA 5, published in 2023 or 2013, and GTA 6, which was rumored to be released later on. He posted select screenshots of the code onto an online form, and has then threatened to release the rest of it. So the source code, the digital DNA of the program, is important proprietary information for any gaming company. Hypothetically, what could release of such code really do? So basically, the vice president of senior production at a video game design school, DigiPen, told Gizmodo that it really depends on what kind of code was stolen. If the hacker managed to steal server-side code for GTA 6, that could potentially open up Rockstar to a cheating problem, the professor speculated. Understanding this requires a little background in game architecture. So basically, an online multiplayer games are essentially designed to stop players from cheating. The game's code is split into two parts. They have server-side code, which is run by remote server farms owned by the company, and client-side code, which runs on the player's actual device, like the Xbox, PC, or phone. Client code informs the player's user experience, while the server code governs the gameplay itself. The code is partitioned in this way out of necessity. You can't really recreate online, multiplayer environments without some sort of cloud infrastructure, but it also helps keep control of the game firmly in the hands of the company. Players send their input, i.e. commands, to the server, and the server sends back an updated version of the game reflecting that thing too as well. So basically, if they have access to server-side code, they can allow them to go and see how the game functions and allow them to exploit all this knowledge to get different types of cheats as well. And as time goes on, if they develop more and more and more or figure out things to kind of adjust the cheating, they can definitely make it up. Or they can also sell cheats too, as we've covered up before. They also have security issues too as well, because it also then drives into data breach in the company's security culture. And I've mentioned before too as well, it's very annoying because this also might affect people who are working from home might encourage Rockstar to force everyone to essentially work in office again, or as well have a lot more security clearance that could also go and kind of slow down game production, because not everyone may have access to files, etc., etc. And as well, too, on top of that, too, is some folks are saying it might still be okay, mainly because Rockstar is such a big game company, and they, it'd just be really hard for a smaller company to mimic this, and typically other bigger companies are trying to push their own proprietary information and coding that ideally wouldn't be affected or yoinked off of this too in the first place. But obviously this kind of sets a really bad PR. Uh, people are critiquing the game, especially when it's an older game. There's issues they want to change the game possibly. Like it just is really bad in terms of like the damage on the IP, damage on the reputation, damage on the game as a whole. And of course, obviously it kind of takes away a lot of the next excitement whenever the game is officially announced. 
on their own terms. So kind of crazy to see that they have now been arrested, kind of crazy to see this information floating around, and as well, I'm just kind of still sad to see for all these GTA developers that got affected by this. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital, and all the signups. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well.